It's Hollywood Babylon. With your hosts, Kevin Smith and Ralph Garman. It is Saturday night in Hollywood, so let's babble the fuck on. I'm Kevin Smith. I'm Ralph Garman. And before we go into Hollywood news and whatnot, can I communicate a cultural thing that I found out about today? Sure. Um, I went to a bat mitzvah. You know what that is? I, I do. That's where old... Batman and Robin uh, get together. Yes! And they read from the Torah. And... That's what I thought, man. It is, it's Batman, but it's bat mitzvah. Is it? Yes. I went to one of those today. No, I've never, never been to one. Never? Never. It's weird. Don't you know any Jews? No. <laughs> Come to work in it. Hollywood. I guess it's weird, right? <laughs> so I went, and this is this blew my mind. At the end, the the rabbi or whatever, the, the, yeah, the rabbi. The rabbi yeah. But they called him something, Mal something. Like I was like Mola Ram, and I was like, holy shit, this motherfucker gonna rip a heart out, you know? I was looking for human sacrifice. Yeah. And that, <laughs> Different that religion. Worth, yeah, yeah. You're thinking Mormons. Or in the Catholic? No. The yeah. Catholic Church were always like, nail him up, eat his flesh, drink his blood, ah, metal, metal, you know. <laughs> Somebody at one point was just like, he was just like, you know, uh, the something, life is ephemeral. Does every, anybody know what that means? And I'm sitting there going, I think it means fleeting and shit, but I don't want to jump up and say something in case it means something else. Right. A little girl raised her hand, like 13-year-old kid, he's like, you, and she's like, fleeting? And he's like, yes, it means fleeting. And everyone applauded for her. I was like, why didn't I say something? <laughs> I could have beat this fucking idiot to the punch, and I would have been king at a fucking Nobody bat mitzvah. Nobody likes man. me. Everybody yes. hates me. That's what you're thinking. But instead, man, he was just like, okay, uh, does anybody know what this means? And I was like, here's my chance. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me you didn't. <laughs> I, I, I did. I just wanted to be like, um, Vulcan greetings. <laughs> Live long and prosper? I didn't look up or anything, but he literally jumped on it. He goes, somebody say Vulcan? I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Like, it is from Star Trek. He's going, you know, Mr. Spock. And he said that. He goes, Mr. Spock, who just happens to be Jewish. And he's going. Nimoy got it from, uh, from being a Jew. Yeah. That's what he's, I had no fucking clue. And he goes, and what is he, what does, uh, what is the prayer that Spock usually says or the greeting that he gives? And this I fucking had, you know. It's right. like if there was a buzzer on the table, I would have fucking pounded it. He would have gone to the bonus round. Holy shit, man. I, I couldn't even let him finish it before. I was like, live long and prosper, bitch. You know, I forgot we were at a kid's bat mitzvah. But I, uh, I grew up in Philadelphia, northeast Philadelphia, of course, and my neighborhood was predominantly Jewish. I was like the token goyim, as they say. Get out of here. Yeah. You must have gotten so much pussy. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I see you as the guy that shows up to all the bat mitzvahs and shit, and after <laughs> ceremonies done, they're into the dancing part of it and shit. Yeah. You're pulling the girl into the cloakroom going, now you're going to be a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> circumcised too, ladies. <laughs> yeah, I got cut for Christ. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bumper sticker in the back of my car, actually. Once in a while, celebrities can get out of their own egos, get out of their own ways, and do something nice for somebody else. When that happens, we like to celebrate it. And uh, Christian Bale, what a guy. He's pretty strong. There was a, uh, a kid in Youngstown, Ohio, by the name of Jaden Barber. Five-year-old Jaden Barber has been diagnosed with MSD leukemia and had been given only months to live. Fuck. His dream was to meet Batman. Well, the good news is, last week, Christian Bale caught wind of it and flew Jaden and his family here to Los Angeles and treated them to a lunch and a day at uh, Disneyland and took them to lunch at Disney's Club 33. That's amazing. That's awesome. Here's a picture of Christian Bale and uh, Jaden. Do you think Jaden was like, where's the fucking outfit, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> Christian Bale punched him right in the face. It's so sad. That's why his face looks a little swollen in that photo. <laughs> what? I'm telling you what happened. I'm here to report the news. Oh. If you people can't take it, you might as well just just leave. Because oh. I tell I tell the truth here. I might I might go with them on that one. Oh. The only thing that could make this news better actually happened this week. Uh, Jaden has beat the odds, and his doctors have announced he's now in remission. The fuck out of here, really? Yeah. The bat Batman has the fucking healing power, man. Yes. Batman is a saint. Apparently, uh, Christian Bale told the family he wants the money back, though, however, that he spent <laughs> to get them out there. It's kind of tacky, how, I thought. Do you I know, know how fucking expensive Club 33 Oh, good is. for you. You're going to live. 
Let's get to the breaking news before we hit politics and show business. Uh, this morning, Miley Cyrus's home was invaded by an intruder. Mm, this is fucked up. No. Sadly, she wasn't there. I'm sorry. Oh, stop it. Cops responded to a 911 call from her home. Wasn't placed by Miley. As I mentioned, she wasn't home. But when they captured Jason Luis Rivera, he was arrested for trespassing, and they did find him armed with scissors. This is the second time this month Miley Cyrus has been attacked with scissors. This is the first time. <laughs> yeah. That first guy did enough fucking damage. I don't know what the other guy was thinking. <laughs> he was trying to fix it. Yeah. He was a hairstylist who said, Seriously, have you seen her? I couldn't help myself. I jumped the fence. It's an emergency. <laughs> Lindsay Lohan in the news this week. Barack Obama this week tweeted, I've cut taxes for those who need it, middle class families and small businesses. Lohan immediately retweeted the president and then added her own tweet. It says, Barack Obama, we also need to cut taxes for those who are listed on Forbes as millionaires, but if they are not, you must consider that as well. Apparently, Lindsay was on a list of millionaires from Forbes magazine, and she claims she's not, so she wants a tax cut. It may be the most specific tax cut in the history of politics. <laughs> she's asking Barack Obama to give her a tax cut. Lindsay also asked in a later tweet that any stolen diamonds be considered tax <laughs> exempt. So, I, I look, I wish her well. In legal news, Ben & Jerry's Ice Cream has filed a suit. Ben & Jerry's is suing two porn companies, Rodax Video and Caballero Video, because apparently they have run out of movies and TV shows to parody, so now they're parodying Ben & Jerry's flavors. They've taken Cherry Garcia, and they've changed it into Harry Garcia for folks who like their women au natural. Okay. They've taken American Dream... American cream, that's what they've made it to, sir. Other flavors, chocolate fudge babes. Oh, that makes me horny. No. I don't, know where, I don't want to know where the chocolate fudge is coming from in this video. New York fat and chunky are other ones. <laughs> My nickname in high school was New Jersey fat and chunky. Was it really? I, I want to know, first of all, where's Cocky Road? I want to know where that is. Where's chocolate chip cookie blow? Where's that one? <laughs> Oh, my God. Where's Chubby Hubby? Yeah. <laughs> right Poor here. Poor Hubby's Chubby. That's all I have to do is flip it. <laughs> chubby Hubby's sitting right next to you. <laughs> Russell Crowe was in the news this week. You know, he's playing Noah in the new movie Noah about Noah's Ark. Okay. And in order to get used to, I guess, what it's like to be in a boat, he went kayaking in the Atlantic Ocean this week. <laughs> Which is, is very much like an ark. Very much. He and a friend went kayaking off the coast of Long Island Sound last Saturday and <laughs> couldn't find their way back. The Coast Guard had to tow them in. Those who know the hot-headed actor, though, say he was so angry he punched the ocean in the face. <laughs> <laughs> While we're talking about movie stars, Tom Cruise is featured in the upcoming Vanity Fair magazine. They talk about the fact before he married Katie Holmes, Scientology had an internal audition process to find him his next wife. Now, this had been rumored for some time, but this person who wrote the article said they have actual proof from a guy who was running the Scientology's in-house video studio who recorded the audition tapes for these girls. The winner, uh, if, if you consider it winning, <laughs> of the audition was an Iranian-born actress who was part of Scientology named Nazanin Boniadi. She was put through a Scientology auditing process for a very important mission for a month. Tom Cruise be with a woman, Mission Impossible. She did not get the mission accomplished. Right on. And so, according to the story, she was forced to clean toilets with a toothbrush and dig ditches in the middle of the night as punishment for failing her mission. To make Tom Cruise straight? <laughs> oh, my God, man. Thank God. Like, you know how many fucking toilets I'd be scrubbing if I was punished for every time I got turned down? I know. It's not her fault. Well, as much as I'd like to continue talking about Kevin's cock, Comes the time of the evening we need to talk about someone else's cock. <laughs> Liam Neeson's cock is so big. How big is it? It's who Clint Eastwood was really talking to during the Republican <laughs> National Convention. <laughs> Liam Neeson's cock is so big. How big is it? Conspiracy theorists believe the moon landing was filmed on it. <laughs> 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 Liam Neeson's cock is so big. How big is it? It's what Logan ran from. 
<laughs> Liam Neeson's cock is so big. Doctors found a lump on one of his testicles and had to use the Death Star to destroy it. <laughs> and lastly, Liam Neeson's cock is so big, How big is it? that even Christopher Nolan thinks it's take, it takes too long to reach a climax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! And that's Hollywood Babylon for this week. I'm Kevin Smith. I'm Ralph Garman. I'm able to fuck off. Good night, everybody. Good night, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Haven't we all at some point in the evening? Settled for a bag of crack. Yes. You are interested in DTF. I don't know what DTF is. You're interested. Again, because it's that habit, because it doesn't itch a fidget, and I'm switching my position to my wet on my left butt cheek. Piss, because I know my stupid phone is going to ring again, and I want to...